Okay guys, this is where we left off yesterday. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Melinda, plain and simple. This is actually just a little bit later. I'm not leaving this overnight. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. But from yesterday's video to today, this is right where we left off. So now what I'm gonna do is get all of this stuff up, get it into the shred or the trash, wherever it needs to go. I'm gonna see if I have anything else that needs to go into the garage. I'll put it in that box. Get that out of here and figure out where to put this stuff and then i think i think i can fit all this stuff down here in this cabinet let's just see <laughs> this or enough room there's a few things down here not a whole lot and you know what i forgot i forgot about this somebody gave this to us as a gift and I was going to use it at Thanksgiving and totally forgot. I need to put that with my Thanksgiving stuff. So next year I will remember. But yes, I think I can put my tools down here. This would be a nice place for them. Easy for me to access and I'll know right where they're at. So just like always, if you've got any laundry you need to do or any dishes you need to do or anything else that you need to do around your house to keep the maintenance going <laughs> go ahead and get that done and then meet me back here and we can continue on cleaning up our messes together so grab your stuff and come on i put the few things that were in that cabinet here and then i've gathered all of this stuff that was here almost all of it and put most of it down here you can see so you can see the gloves, the Dremel tools, all that stuff is down here. And I put the smaller items in the lunch box. I may be able to fit some more in there. Some of those ones that are in our bedroom from working on the floor in there may be able to fit in there as well. Um, this box has some floor protectors that jute yarn or juice stuff and some um, brushes that I got at the dollar store for when I'm doing the painting and speaking of painting um, I took the stuff out of this and I put the um, polyurethane finish and the paints and stuff like that that I had left over I put those in here because I don't know if I'm going to need that stuff but if I do I'll know where to find it and if I don't then I can declutter it later if I want to, but for now, it's in here. So keep all that in there neatly, but I've got nails in here, um, tape, my knee pads, all that kind of stuff in here, and I put the, the square right there, the contact paper. So that's all in there. Um, I got the kitty bowls back down where they go. Um, I'm gonna work on this stack later i'm not going to do that right now uh let's see what else i'm not sure where i'm going to put these things yet i'm probably not going to put that back on the kitty dining table so let me take these bags out of here and this this can go down in the basement along with these other things here so i've got the these things I'm going to take down to the basement these things i'm going to take to the spare bedroom because that's where i have um the guest bedroom that's where i have my paints right now um let's see and i put some of these things that i had left over from my flooring project i've put them in here um i don't know if i'll leave them oh sorry i don't know if i'll leave them in there oh, let's see i wonder if i could just to give them a home for the moment we'll just go ahead and put them all right here in this bin and this can go down here as well i think that'll work and let's see okay now i've got to figure out what to do with these plastic bags um and I do think I'll keep this a little bit longer in case I do need to do any more paint projects right now. So I will put this down here for now. 
and then eventually I can do quite of that because once I'm once I'm sure I'm done with my little painting things that can go okay let me go ahead and take these down and put those up and then we will see what else we've got going on here since I'm gonna take that thing down and put it in my bin with Thanksgiving and um, fall Halloween kind of stuff uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this stuff off of the fireplace as well it's after Thanksgiving so it's okay to start taking these things down and start decorating for Christmas and I'm gonna take this thing out of our kitchen as well so I'm gonna take that downstairs I'm not gonna declutter it because Randy's grandfather made that for us when we got married I think that looks pretty good so I'm gonna close these doors and grab the plastic bags I didn't use those and this box that has the things in it that I'm going to take back out to the garage I'm going to go ahead and do that in this case with the CDs and this thing I'm going to put these in the family room in the gentleman's hutch but since I've got that closed off right now I'm just going to put it here for the moment and I'm also going to put that in there so they will be in that room and I can access them easily um, this I'm going to take and put in my office and also my tripod and then I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to wipe this table down. I'm going to put that step ladder away, maybe sweep the floor and then I'm going to show you what it looks like and then I'm going to show you the family room. I already showed you that I made some changes over here in the kitty dining area. I have this picture that I got for free um, from Buy Nothing and I had this dog already and I found this a sign here at a peddler's mall um, so I put that on there and I'm doing some little updating for the kitty dining area and then over here you can see the tables cleaned off it won't last long Randy's still using this as his desk but I got my picture hung up so I'm really happy about that I think it looks good I think these things look good together it's feeling a little bit more cozy I'm not done with it yet but um, I'm really liking how it is looking, but are you guys ready to see the family room? One, two, three. Let me give you a little look around so you can see all of it and see what you think. You can let me know what you think down in the comments. It took me a while to get it done, but I'm really happy with it. And you know, we had the flooring over here for over a year and it just it just felt so cluttery and then when we finally started working on it um we pulled the big furniture out and then i had that over here for a while what was it a couple months or more but it just felt like forever and you know when i got that we got that furniture back out of there it was so odd because it just felt so open it felt like somebody had just opened up a a hole in the wall and put in a new room <laughs> And it felt so good. And so that is what inspired the poem that I wrote for this video. Um, I'm not putting them with the videos anymore like I was before. I have a new channel and it's called Melinda Plain and Simple Poetry. I'll put a link. So if you want to hear that poem, you can click on that and go and listen to it. Um, but that way you'll know where the inspiration came from. But it was from this room. Um, but this is what our floor looks like. I know some of you have been curious. You've probably um, seen a little bit of it here and there, a few hints here and there uh, of it, but this is what it looks like. We got new curtains, um, the black and white buffalo check. I had red curtains before. Oh, and I took out the, Randy helped me, <laughs> he did most of it, but we took out the electric heat thing that was over here. We never used it. Um, we couldn't find any paneling in the basement to um, fix the hole it left, and so I just used contact paper. <laughs> That's okay. I'm fine with it. I put the TV back over here. It's, it's on the um, sewing cabinet. That had belonged to my great-aunt Lindy, or great-great-aunt Lindy, I'm not sure which, um, but her name was Melinda, so I was named after her on one side of the family, and on the other side, my great-great-grandmother's name was Melinda also. So I had two Melindas I was named after. And then um, the red and green basket I thought would be pretty for Christmas along with these things. I have my purple trees. I didn't put any ornaments on them. I just left them plain. 
And then you can see here, I put the Care Bear cloud car down there as a little decoration and the little puppy and doll. Those belong to my brother and I asked if they want them and so when they came in next time, my sister-in-law said yes. So they're gonna pick those up. And then I have these few little ornaments or decorations. I bought these recently because I decided I want to go with more flat items. So things that are not bulky or heavy and they're easy to store. And so you can see these are all pretty flat and none of them are heavy. They weren't expensive. They were all secondhand. And this thing, this tree actually can, can stand up so that can go in there see like that and it can stand up but i chose to use it this way on uh, just against the wall with the santa um and let's see uh, the, the fireplace around the fireplace i put that because with this type of floor you have to leave an expansion gap and so you have to cover that up so that's how i did it and i also um used those things over here they're just plain wood and I painted them to match the um, baseboards. So that way I didn't have to do miter cuts or very many. I am going to have to do a couple of miter cuts because this has to meet up with the one that's um, along this thing here. One of the workaround spots that I had was this um, vent. Uh, as you can see, it was installed too close to the wall. So the baseboards come across and over top of it. So what I did was I created a little thing that can be removed and here is the back of it. So you can see um, when I painted these, I actually didn't paint the back of this one, but I painted these and then I just glued the three pieces together. So if you need to take the vent out or the register thingy out of here, the vent, um, you can do that and then you can slide it right back in there easily and you can't even tell. And I haven't done my transition strips yet, so I still do have a little bit more work to do, but it was done enough so that we could put the furniture back in here. The gentleman's hutch, we put it back over here where it was, and this is where I put those things. <laughs> so that way I can access them really easily when I want to use them. And we put the dresser Back over here where it was as well but again this is what the room is looking like and I'm really happy with it um, it really feels good to me you know it may seem like it doesn't have much for those of you who like to have a bit more stuff around my husband's that way he likes to have a bit more stuff around it may not feel cozy to you but it feels really good to me it's the best this room has ever looked it's the best this room has ever felt and this is my sanctuary room, isn't it, Bubby? Yeah, I know it is, isn't it? Oh, and I have one more thing that I am going to declutter. I didn't want to forget. Um, my house shoes. I've been wearing these. I mean, I put these on new not that long ago. You see, it's already lost its little ear. And I hope this isn't too gross. But look, <laughs> I've worn them out already. So I'm also going to be decluttering these cute little house shoes. And... I'll figure out something else to wear. But meanwhile, let me know if you did vlog mess with me and continue on. Make sure that you continue on with your um, maintenance stuff. Make sure you're getting those dishes done. Get that laundry done. Dust mop your floor every day or vacuum it or something. And um, I, I just did a little quick vacuum, but I'm going to vacuum again before I mop. I'll probably mop it tomorrow, but I'm going to do all that stuff. So this is going to be the end of the vlog mess videos probably for this year anyway um but i just wanted to say thank you to everybody who's been doing it along with me till next time happy decluttering bye love you have a very merry calm and peaceful christmas season and pumpkin and i will see you tomorrow for 10 minutes better the theme is jingle bells clutter smells what you doing pumpkin you? Are you going to declutter some stuff? Yeah. <laughs> One thing we decluttered was the ugly carpet that was in this room. <laughs>